Okay, so the question is whether these figures, 84,000 and 500 and all that, uh, they are exact or they are just, uh, uh, how do you call it, metaphorical, symbolic. Uh, symbolic. I would say they are symbolic uh, because uh, uh, in India, uh, they have certain figures like this uh, which they quote all the time. It's not like, it's not like 83,950. <laughs> it's always 84,000. So, what they mean is a big number. Sometimes they say 500. It's also not exactly 500. Okay. So, that's the case. So, which means that certain things in the Sutta also will be subjected to interpretation and cannot take at their face value. So, our problem is sometimes where do we do the interpretation and where do we take the decision? Yeah, but. Uh, even though you don't know uh, exactly the figure that is meant, uh, but you have an idea that it is um, a certain amount. Uh. Say, for example, when the Buddha says 500, you can take it maybe to vary from 100 to 1,000. Uh, <laughs> right? Uh, so, uh, it doesn't affect our practice uh, or understanding. Just want these figures. Hmm. We have other aspects, uh, let's say, uh, the story of the check, who won 100 years coming in, how things like that. Hmm. So, my way of looking at this is just to emphasize the point of how difficult it is to be born as a king. Yes, yes, yes. Can I take that? Yes, yes. Yeah, 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 definitely. In the suttas, uh, the Buddha says uh, that there are two rebirths uh, which you fall into, uh, two realms of rebirth. Uh, You'll be there for an extremely long time la, and very difficult to get back a human form. La. That is, uh, if you are reborn in hell la, and you are reborn in the animal realm. La. Because uh, these are the two worst uh, places of rebirth you can go to. Uh, in fact, in hell, la, you'll be there for so long. La. That's why, like in Christianity and in Islam, la, they say that if you fall into hell, la, you'll be there for eternity. Uh, it's almost uh, it's almost eternity, la. but eventually one day you'll come back. Uh, also, if you're reborn in the animal realm, uh, you'll be pretty wild there. La. And, uh, you know, animals eat each other and always uh, very fierce. La. Very fierce and uh, there's no chance to do good. Uh, no chance to improve yourself, no chance to learn the Dhamma. No chance to do charity, etc. That's why uh, it's very difficult to get up from the animal world also. Uh, so you fall into these two. Uh, then that simile of the blind turtle uh, in the ocean, uh, uh, that will be very true. Uh.